Hello everybody. Today I will be making a video on how to replace the cotton and uh, wick in your Zippo lighter. So the first step is to take the main lighter assembly out of its case. It just slides in and out and you can just set the case aside for now. Um, and then at the bottom there's a small screw you can just undo but if it's really tight you can use a screwdriver to undo it with the little flats on there and you can just unscrew it. Once you have it out there will also be the flint inside and you can just kind of tap it on your hand to get it out and keep track of these things because they're kind of small and easy to lose. I like to just actually just put them back in the case and set the whole thing aside. So now that we have just the lighter assembly here this can this bottom felt piece can come out um, and that you can just set that aside as well um, and then I like to get needle nose pliers to carefully pull out all the old cotton the reason I have to do this is because I actually made the mistake of going into a lake yesterday and I forgot to take some stuff out of my pockets and now it's all damp okay once you pull out all of your old cotton this can just go in the garbage you don't really need it anymore but you can also see that there's still the wick in there um, and my wick on the top is looking pretty frayed and dirty so I might um, I'm going to show you a process to rejuvenate it you don't necessarily have to replace it because it's still pretty good and it's long enough what you can actually do is you can get your scissors or a pocket knife or something and you can carefully cut off the part that you don't really want anymore it's just copper wire so it shouldn't hurt my knife here or your scissors um, and then you can make sure it's nice and uh, not very frayed and you can poke it back through the other side making sure it's at the right height but actually before you fold it up inside you're gonna want to get out some cotton balls or whatever kind of cotton you're gonna use and just pull a few out probably like that many and you can see how compacted some of this old stuff is I'm not completely sure what kind of cotton they use but cotton balls should be good enough for what we're doing here so you can kind of unwrap them a little bit and then you're gonna just stuff it right in and you can use a pencil or something to compact it nicely then I would put fold your wick in at this point make sure it's nice and embedded in all the fibers. Just keep compacting more and more into the lighter body until you think it's good. Make sure to get around the, the little flint assembly too. For the flint assembly you might need something a little bit thinner. If you still have some needle nose pliers you can poke those like that so theoretically the more cotton that you pack into here the more fuel it can hold so try and get as much as in as you can but don't fill it all the way full because you have to remember there you still have to put this small felt piece back in there so just keep that in mind okay once you've gotten all of your cotton into your lighter um, however much you want it in there. Get your fuel to fuel it up. Make sure there's nothing that can spark this. Um, fun fact, this is actually just Coleman fuel or white gas, um, which can be used if you don't have Zippo lighter fluid. Okay, once you've got your fuel in there, you can put your felt piece back in there, making sure the large hole goes over the flint assembly. And you may find that it sits in there a little bit low. And if that happens, you can take it back out and you can just add some more cotton. 
Okay, I've added some more. Let's try it again. That's better. It's, it's nice and even now. So I'll go ahead and get your flint and your spring and slip your flint down the hole there. I like to spin this a little bit just to make sure it's not binding in any way before you put the spring in. You put the spring in, turn it tight. Once you have it tight, you can put it back in the lighter case and test it. You may have to adjust the wick placement. Mine was a little bit lopsided. Let's try it again. You also might have to fray the wick a little bit just to make sure the sparks have enough fibers to catch on to. So you can just kind of fray it a little bit. Maybe if there's if it's not working, you can add a little bit more fuel, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, it's good and full of fuel. I even got some on my hands, so you can just use some of the cotton balls that you have left to wipe your hands off. It doesn't really take much to go in this layer. There's probably just at least a couple in here. Let's try it again. And there you go. You have a nice rebuilt lighter. It's really quite simple. Again, all you need really is a few cotton balls, needle nose pliers, and your good old hands. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.